Hey, what's up guys? Coach Todd here. Today I'm talking about a question that I started all my videos off saying this because I get a lot of the same questions. But today uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about the, the Body Beast Workout Program and the question I've been getting a lot lately is can I do Body Beast and still lose weight? Now the thing is that you have to understand about bulking versus fat loss is they're, they're almost counterproductive to one another. If you want to do it right, before you bulk, you want to lean out as much as possible. I personally recommend getting below 10% body fat before you focus on a bulking nutrition plan. Now, muscles need carbohydrates and fats and protein. They need, they need all those things. They need a lot of carbohydrates and a lot of fats to build muscle. But with that also comes an increase in body fat percentage. When you're bulking, when you're adding muscle, you're going to add a little fat as well. When you're trying to lose fat at the same time, usually to lose fat, you have to take in a calorie deficit where you're, you're taking in less calories than you're actually uh, burning each day. That way, and, and that's what is counterproductive to muscle growth and seeing those big uh, muscle gains and size gains, uh, even with body beast in the very last phase, the beast phase, where you switch up your macros so that um, you're you're at a higher protein intake. Um, the the nutrition guide actually says you will experience some muscle loss. It's 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 hard not to when you're at a calorie deficit because you know you're you're not you're no longer giving your muscles excess of what they need so they're not getting 100% of what they need to grow. So bulking, muscle gains, well I don't want to say muscle gains, I should say significant muscle gains and significant size gains are counterproductive to the fat loss process. So the answer to the question, can I do body beast and lose fat at the same time? The answer is absolutely. Now, I don't personally recommend that you follow the Body Beast Nutrition Plan if fat loss is your goal. If you want to lose fat, you can do the Body Beast workouts, but follow something more along the lines of the P90X Nutrition Plan. And I will place a little link right below here that you can click on. You can watch how to calculate your calorie intake based on the P90X Nutrition Guide and the Fat Shredder Plan which is based off 50% um, uh, of your calories coming from protein, 30% coming from carbs, 20% coming from fats. That's called the Fat Shredder Plan. So, yes, you can lose fat while doing Body Beast, but I recommend following the P90X Nutrition Guide. Now, also, there's a lot of guys who just, they're used to the gym. That's what they've been doing for years. They love the heavy lifting. They love yelling. You know, I mean, I used to go to 24-Hour Fitness, and there's this one guy there. They, people do some weird stuff at the gym. There was guys there, he would get up, he'd do these massive shoulder shrugs. He'd have like 150 pounds in each, each arm. And he'd just sit there and go, bop, bop, bop. And I, oh my gosh, you could hear him like a mile away. It was, it was just insane. And there was this other crazy dude. Sorry, I'm off track, but I gotta tell you about this. I don't know if he had shin splints or what. But he used to, like, he would sit there and do his exercise, and he would carry around a drumstick with him. And then he would put his foot up on the bench and just start beating the crap out of his shins with this drumstick. I have no idea what that was all about. Anyway, a lot of gym people are weird. So a lot of, the, a lot of you guys are coming from a gym atmosphere. You really like that atmosphere. You like the heavy lifting. You like the weights, the dumbbells, the curl bars, all that stuff. But over the years... You sort of let yourself go like I did a, a couple of years ago and got fed up and made a change. But you let yourself go. You're not focused on your nutrition. You haven't worked out in a while. And your body fat percentage has gotten way up there. I do not recommend you do Body Beast if you are over 15% body fat. If you're between 10 and 15% body fat, I recommend you do the Lean Beast workout schedule. If you're below 10% body fat, which is where you should be if you're starting a bulking nutrition plan along with a bulking 
lift a bulk or a, a mass gain lifting program like Body Beast, you should be below 10% body fat. Uh, I recommend doing the Huge Beast workout schedule. Now, the reason I talk about these body fat percentages because the best way to get the results you want is to first get rid of all the fat. Lean out as much as possible. That's why I recommend you start out with something like P90X or Insanity. Just get rid of all that fat until you get down below 10% body fat. And then you can focus on a bulking nutrition plan and bulking lifting, the bulk style lifting with body beast. You can do that so you can maximize your muscle gains and then at the end of that, you cut again. And you do that in cycles. You cut fat, you bulk. You cut fat, you bulk. It's difficult to do them at the same time. I'm actually doing a hybrid workout right now where I'm cycling Body Beast, um, Insanity, the, the max interval workouts, so they're an hour long, um, P90X, as well as P90X2 workouts. I'm doing all those in a 13-week um, schedule to see how, what kind of gains and results I can get from a mixture of the programs, but also doing a, you know, a, most of my workouts are the foundation of the whole hybrid I'm doing is body beast. And I want to see what kind of muscle gains and size gains I can get while doing intense cardio workouts and performance workouts with P90X and P90X2. So my recommendation and the answer to can you do body, base, body beast, get lean muscle gains and lose fat at the same time, it's tough. It's going to be real tough. I recommend first leaning out with a program like P90X or Insanity and then stepping into Body Beast. But if you want to get into Body Beast, if you're below 10% body fat, awesome. Do the huge beast workout schedule. 10 to 15%, I would say, you know, do the lean beast schedule. And if you are above 15% body fat and you're dead set on doing Body Beast, do body beast, but follow the P90X fat shredder plan. And like I said, um, I'll put a link in the description below this video. So I hope this answered your question on can you do body beast and lose fat at the same time. If you have questions, post them below. Like the video. Email me at coachtodd at ribclub.net and connect with me or connect with me on Facebook. I'll put all my social media links down below. Connect with me on other avenues of social media because I do want to talk about uh, how I can help you get results, you know, what you're struggling with, how I can help, because that's my passion, guys. I just want to help you get the best results possible. So let me help you, and I look forward to talking to you. So I will see you on the next video.